Our dinghy has been turned upside down for a while now. So. Hi guys and welcome to our channel Catastrophe Sailing. I'm Rune. And I'm Lika. Together we bought a 40 foot leopard named Mitsu. We sold our house and all our stuff back in Denmark, quit our jobs and finally ditched our kids. Now we're full time liverboards, plan to see as much of the world as we can with the money we have left. So please join us on our journey here on YouTube. So it's time to get the dinghy down to see if there are any holes in it, how well it will hold air. find the pump now. Yeah. I think Luna is trying to make me a muscle. Like a muscle man. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I've used my arms all day. Huh? And now it's my day. Do you want to be a muscle man, but the only thing you are is a smelly cat, smelly cat. <laughs> what are no. they feeding you? We have to move the thing around a bit because it was very windy so it was difficult to keep uh, track of the, of the top. This is pretty awesome. You like it? Yeah, I do. So we're going to have a green dinghy? <laughs> no, not a green one, a blue one or a grey one. Once, once we were satisfied with the, the template, we found a dirty garage. First, the template must be drawn onto the fabric. Are you done uh, drawing? I'm not sure. Take it away. Let's see if. Looks like a dinghy. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Then it's time to cut exactly according to the lines on the fabric. Um, it was a bit difficult, I think, anyway. Uh, the old rope uh, will be cut off as we would like to put some new on. And that's Rune's job. edges must be sewn and I'm not a great master at that. I'm still practice. Washed and clean. Dry fit of the dinghy cover. Now it's strings attached. So how happy are you with your machine, my darling? Uh, actually, I hate my machine. You look like you're about to explode. I am. So, you've been sitting here all day, mm. sewing. Mm. How much did you sew? 
<laughs> not much. Uh, two of them. Only the patches of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you a story from the real life. We've been struggling with the machine for like seven days. We both agreed that it was the machine's fault. Uh, day seven, Rune came to me and said, Oh darling, do you remember the needles we bought back in Denmark? I was like, yeah, of course I remember the needles. Then he said, oh, do you remember that we bought different sizes of needles. Hmm. So it was the size of the needle that was the problem, not the machine. <coughs> Oops. You're getting smarter for every day that passed. We do anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was so excited when I saw that we have one more logo. So Rune thought of using it for the thing cover. He's a smart man. He used an iron and the logo is made of uh, foil, so it's not um, it's ended to the fabric, but uh, we'll, we'll take the chance anyway, uh, because we think it looks so cool. The front of the dinghy cover. It's very early. Needles in the dinghy. <laughs> Oops. Now with strings attached. Uh, I'm trying to make the best design for the end of the dinghy cover. So you ran out of material? Yeah. So you're going to use that one instead? <laughs> yeah, it's fine enough. We have uh, glued the velcro on the top for the wind. This is very difficult actually. What are you doing? I'm putting um, Velcro on. As you can see. Number nine! Or is okay. it six? That is six. Not done yet, but almost. Rune puts the new uh, rope on the dinghy cover. On the dinghy, actually, not the cover. And it looks great. Something to hold on. This one is shiny in the dark. I have made a small bag of storage for the rope. You can put it in here. It's 
made by a mosquito net and I don't know if it would last forever but then we just make a new one. For now it's good enough anyway. Whoops, we haven't put Velcro, Velcro on the bottom yet. I like to use this cool light on the dinghy cover. There is a green, whoops, and a red and a white like starboard port and 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 pretty cool we bought them back in denmark last time so but i haven't found out yet where to put them on the cover or on the rope i don't know yet so a job for later on. That's nice. And of course we need to find a name for the dinghy. 